the temperature light just went off. And you can tell by the jet engine we're running the heat really high. Um, <laughs> we're having a bit of a temperature issue. And I think I know why. If you could turn the key off here in a second, we'll have a demonstration. Um, that's a lot of freewheel on the radiator fan there. Yeah, I think the radiator fan clutch went out. So that's a minor detail. I can get a new one of those. Spent way too much money on that. I already know the price would be about $400 for that fan clutch. But we're home. Time to unload. Well, so parts showed up magically quick or not. It's been a couple days. And uh, well, we can see down here in the light keep turning we uh, are getting the fan clutch loose had to take the radiator not the radiator the air conditioning belt off so I could put this lovely uh, rubber strap guy around the pulley to hold this whole mechanism from turning because there's no way to get in there say with a wrench on the uh, water pump side um, and this, this video is making it look easy. You did miss the initial brake loose and the fight um, because what's out here? The Dremel, oh, the lovely Dremel. This thing has been a lifesaver. That small cutting blade I got in there and cut. You need me to turn it? Yeah, I need a midget hand. My hand's not that small as the brown one. I know, but I'm gonna try I, to carry some of your weight out. Maybe the heat, or I was able to get the metal to spread enough and with cutting and a chisel, uh, we managed to get this loose. It's a left-handed thread. It's just a design thing to keep it on. Um, <laughs> but I didn't want to have to take the whole radiator and everything off. Oh, we're turning. We got a ways to go. Too bad the fan clutch doesn't uh, lock anymore like it's supposed to. We could turn the whole fan. But it doesn't. That's why we're freewheeling. The new clutch is not this easy to turn. Okay. Well, I couldn't uh, turn the thread and hold the camera, but it just fell off. I mean, those threads are shiny. I'm going to take a wild guess that there wasn't any sort of thread locker, and you can't see where I cut. So I didn't cut too deep. And maybe just, just enough. That cut and uh, the chisel to get it to spread. Uh, so now we gotta get these bolts out. I wonder what sort of metric mess that is. Okay. Tap it loose. Just tap before you get that completely off. Yeah. See if you can tap it. Take with a hammer. Yeah. Yes. We're down to the last bolt. There we go. Let's take that nut out, we're free. Ugh. Can you hold? Oops, a little more. There. There we go. There we go. Now what do you want me to hold? Set it down there. Hopefully, I don't screw too much up by setting it there, and hopefully, we can get the fan blade out. There are enough room to get it out. Can oh, I can't reach that from up here. They even come out the top on my side. Uh, got it? Yeah, I got it. We don't have any way of knowing. You know, can't turn them by hand. These are pretty, I mean, unless it's just the last couple of threads, these are a snug fit. Well, studs are in, and they're locked in with some stuff. Mystery, miracle, not let go stuff. 
because there was something on them before in the previous fan clutch, um, which we were threading steel into aluminum, which uh, usually just the aluminum corrodes and then it'll get locked in that way. So ready for the fun part of fishing this back down in here and I'm gonna need two hands. Hope you guys enjoy that view. We've already dry fitted all this. Um, so we know it works. Okay. Because we have ran into some parts, like the exhaust that I'm working on on the 1086, <laughs> that there was some variation and some things didn't fit. I forgot, this is lefty tidy. There we go. We got enough on. On the yeah, and then we can use the fan to tighten it. That'll be easier. Start it. Yeah. Okay. We need to turn something. Yeah. It was a small challenge to get started earlier on the dry fit. back here. Look. I'll get one started. And the rest will follow nicely. This uh, rubber... Do I need to make this bigger? Yes, I think so. It's rubber handled. Filter wrench has been fantastic for holding stuff in place. We don't have a wrench to fit this. But the pipe wrench fits anything and everything when you need it most of the time. I guess it's there. Yeah, because I can only hold it so much. And the belt is on for the air conditioner. See our shiny new parts one last time before we try it. So find out if we guessed correctly on the proper parts. And or got them on tight.